in this problem, we have to figure out what the equation of the parabola is that is given to us in the graph. Hopefully we know. Uh, that means we're going to have y equals something. We'll have some quantity squared, and there will be uh, an x plus or an x minus inside that quantity. We'll have some number out front that dictates whether the parabola opens up or down and, and how quickly it opens up or down. And then we'll have some number out at the end that will tell us uh, part of the location for the vertex. Speaking of which, the vertex for this graph is at negative 4, negative 6, keeping in mind they're numbering their axes by 2's. Well, right away then I can tell that negative 6 is going to be the number out at the end because the y-coordinate from the vertex can show up at the end of the equation for the graph. As far as the, the x plus or x minus stuff inside the parentheses, if our x value is negative 4, you've got to ask yourself, what would I have to add or subtract to that to give me a total of 0 inside the parentheses? Well, if, if x is negative 4, you'd have to add 4 to that to get your total of 0 inside the parentheses. So the only thing left to tend to is, what's the number out front? We can pretty clearly see the parabola is opening up, so we know whatever number goes out front has to be positive. The question is, what positive number is it? To figure this out, go back to your vertex and find another point that's easy to identify on the graph. Looks to me like that one's pretty easy to identify. Now from the vertex to that other point is two units to the right. Because we're numbering by twos on this graph. So one box is like two units. It's also two boxes up, which is like four. It's four units up. Well, on a parabola, like a parent graph, y equals x squared, if you go two units to the right, you'd, you'd go four units up. So that tells me that the, the multiplier out front is nothing more than just a positive 1. Positive because it's opening up, and 1 because it's not stretching the graph any differently than you'd stretch y equals x squared. So that gives me, this is my final equation. 